Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing with some new products. I'm going to be using the new Shutter Card Components die to create this really cool card design where when you open it up, you have this kind of shutter opening that opens up and reveals something underneath of it. This is just a mock-up that I created just to show you how the die works and the card that we're going to end up with when we're done. But now we're going to go through the process and create one on camera. So I do have a bunch of cardstock pieces here that I've already cut out. I have a piece of Summer Splash that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half. I have a white piece of cardstock that measures two and three quarter inches wide by six inches long. The pattern paper piece measures three inches wide by six inches long. And then I have these two limelight pieces that I die cut using the new Shutter Components die. So the first thing that we need to do is create our gatefold card design. So I'm taking my Summer Splash piece of cardstock and I'm going to put it here in my scoring tool and we're going to score it in two places. So the first score line is going to be at two and one eighth of an inch and then I'm also going to score it at six and three eighths of an inch. And what this is going to do is it's going to perfectly place those score lines so that I'm able to fold in both sides of the card and they're going to meet nicely in the middle and create a standard A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I like to use a bone folder to really press down on those creases to get a really nice solid crease. And then once I have that done, you'll see here when I open this up, we have a gatefold card and everything meets nicely in the center. This is gonna be the base of our card and what we're going to use to create all of the different parts that will make this open and close in the center. We also need to add some scoring lines to the white piece of cardstock that we have. So for this one here, we're going to score it at a quarter of an inch on both ends. It's just gonna give us a tiny little piece here that we're going to be able to fold over. But what this is going to do is it's going to give us a little bit of a ledge that's going to allow us to add adhesive and adhere it to the inside of the card. This is what's going to actually hold the two shutter pieces in place so that they don't kind of come out when we open and close the card. And then once again, I'm just gonna take my bone folder and press down on those folds just to get a really nice crease line. And now we're able to add our pattern paper piece to the back of this. So that pattern paper piece originally measured six inches long. I did trim it down so it measures five and a half so that it'll fit nicely in between the two score lines that we created. So we have that ready to go and we're just going to finish off the scoring and the folding with the two little shutter pieces that we've die cut with the die. Okay, so now we can start to assemble the inside portion of the card, which is going to be the interactive area that opens and closes. So I'm taking the two shutter pieces here and I've added score tape along the edge on the other side of the score line. And I'm just lining this up on the inside of my card and I'm pressing it right against the score line on the gatefold portion to make sure I have it nice and straight. I'm laying it flat on the card so the adhesive is facing up and then I'm folding over the side to grab onto that adhesive and adhere that little piece to the side of the gatefold card. For the second part here, I'm just lining it up with the first part to make sure everything lines up nicely, and then I'm repeating the same process. I'm laying it flat on the inside of the card, folding over the gatefold, and that's going to attach to that adhesive, and it's going to hold our two shutter pieces in place. And then, like I mentioned, that white piece is going to hold everything in place when we put the card together. But before we get to that, we need to create what we're going to have underneath of the shutter when the card opens and closes. Now you can put a sentiment here or an image. You can put pretty much anything you want. You just want it to be completely flat. I decided to do a stamped image. This is the new Picture Perfect stamp set from Birdie Brown, and it is so cute. It has a bunch of different animal selfies. And the sizing on them was really great for the inside portion of the shutter card. It was nice and large, so it fit perfectly in that opening. So I decided to create a picture that we're going to add on the inside and then we're gonna do a second one that we're gonna put on the outside as well. So I'm not gonna leave all of the coloring in the video. I'm just doing some basic Copic coloring. I'm using a few shades of each of the colors that I picked, which is brown and gray for the cat and the dog. And then I just colored those in very quickly. I also added a little bit of BG10 to the outside of the images. I just didn't want it to be completely stark white. So I liked the little bit of aqua that we kind of added, just highlighted the images a little bit more. Once I had the coloring done, I just took my scissors and very quickly cut around the image since we're not gonna see any of the edge pieces anyway. It doesn't really matter if you have it cut out perfectly. And then once I have it cut out, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this and then we're going to position it in between the two shutter pieces so that it's perfectly placed that when we open the card, this is going to be right in the center. You kind of just wanna gently put it in place and close the shutter pieces until you're sure you have it exactly where you want it. And then once you have it where it needs to be, you can just press down firmly to fully adhere that to the inside. And now you can see it's right in the center and when those two side pieces are fully open, we can see that entire image when we open the card. 
Now I need to create a hole on the front of the little white panel. This is what's going to allow us to see through and see the actual image in the shutter card. So what I did is I just put it underneath of the two shutter pieces and put a little bit of a pencil mark at each corner. This is just going to help me know exactly where the shutter opens so I know exactly where to place the circle. So I put the little pencil marks, I took the circle die that also comes in the Shutter Card Components die set, and I placed it on top with the pattern paper directly underneath, and ran them both through my die cutting machine at the same time. And now that I have the hole cut out, I can go ahead and adhere my pattern paper piece directly under the white piece, so I'm just adding a bunch of adhesive onto the white piece, lining everything up, making sure the holes line up perfectly, and then just adhering that together. And now this top piece is ready to go and we can add it to our card. Now since we have a smaller area behind the score line, I'm going to use 8th inch score tape on these little pieces here, which is going to secure that really nicely in place when we add it to the card. Now I do want to do some stamping on this piece, so I'm going to do that before I adhere it to the card, just so I have a nice flat surface to do the stamping. So I'm just stamping a sentiment on this white piece here. You could stamp a sentiment, another image, it's completely up to you, it just depends on how much detail you want to add to your card. I just went with a sentiment that says, you help make me my best selfie, which I think is so cute. And then once I have that on there, I can go ahead and adhere this to the card. So I'm just lining it up in the center of the inside piece of the panel, so from score line to score line, and I'm adhering the bottom on first, and once I have that lined up, I can just press down the top, and everything is going to line up perfectly since we had everything pre-measured to fit together. And now you can see, like I showed in the original mock-up, when we open and close our card, we're able to see the image that we added underneath. Okay, so the last thing we need to do now is we need to create everything we're going to add to the outside of the card to dress it up a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a Polaroid frame. This is the new Polaroid shaker frame. This fits with our square shaker pouches if you want to create kind of an interactive Polaroid picture. But for this purpose here, I'm just going to keep it flat and not make it a shaker. I stamped and colored another one of the images from the Picture Perfect stamp set. And I'm just going to adhere this in behind the Polaroid shaker frame. Now this is sized really nicely once again to fit there so you don't see the black outline of the actual stamped image. You just see the little characters on the inside so it works really great together. I'm also adding a little sentiment to the bottom of the Polaroid frame using the new captions dynamics. I love this little set. It has a little hashtag and then three different sentiments that you can choose from. So I die cut it from cardstock that matches the pattern paper and I adhered that directly onto the bottom of the Polaroid. And I did use the negative of that die cut to help me space out the letters perfectly on there. And since this is a gatefold card and it has a bunch of dimension on the inside with all of those die cut pieces, it doesn't tend to want to stay closed perfectly. So if you want to, you can create a band, which is what I'm doing here. And this is just going to slide up and down on the front of the card so that it keeps it closed for the recipient. I just used a strip of white cardstock and I kind of used the card as my guide to figure out where the score lines needed to be. I just kind of put it around the card and folded it and then I added a piece of the stripe pattern paper to the back of this as well so we had a little bit peeking out on each side and then I added adhesive to fully close this so it formed a closed loop. And this is just going to easily slide up and down onto that card base and keep everything closed together. I also wanted to add a little bit more detail to the two gatefold pieces on the card front. I felt like they were really plain with just the cardstock. So I took two pieces of pattern paper. This is just a blue pattern paper with little tiny white hearts. I cut them down so that they would fit on the two side panels with a little bit of a border. And I'm just adhering them directly on there with some regular adhesive. You don't want to have anything dimensional on this card front if you're going to go with the band option because it needs to be able to easily slide onto that card base just like you see here. And then last but not least, we just need to add our Polaroid frame that we created. So I added some adhesive to our little band piece and then added this on kind of at an angle for a little bit of a different look. And then you can see when you slide that band off and open the card, we have this really cool interactive element on the inside that opens up to reveal a second image. Now I did do a little bit more onto this card after I filmed the video. I decided I wanted a little bit more contrast on the front. So I added a little sentiment strip that says you're Insta famous. And then I also added one on the inside that says we just click. For the outside one, I just kind of added it on an angle so it would line up nicely with the Polaroid image. So that is our new Shutter Card Components die. It's a lot of fun and creates a really cool interactive design. And it's just really neat to kind of open up that card and see something unexpected on the inside. So I hope you got some ideas on ways that you can use this new die with your card making. As always, I appreciate you being here for another video and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.